Hi, Clean Specialist. Chad with Spotless of Utah. Before we start, I want to say thank you for all of your hard work and diligent efforts at Peterson. You are part of our success story there. Together, we have been able to accomplish things that no other cleaning company has ever been able to do for Peterson, and they are very grateful for your hard work as well. So thank you. We've all been there. You walk into a restroom, you wash your hands, you go to dry them, and the paper towel dispenser is empty. It's jammed, or the batteries are dead. And we're left walking out of the restroom, shaking our hands, trying to air dry them, frustrated as we leave the restroom. Today, we want to prevent that same type of frustration from happening to our customers at Peterson by learning how to properly install batteries and paper towels in the in-motion paper towel dispensers. As we approach the paper towel dispensers in the restrooms at Peterson, we always look to the bottom right-hand corner to see if the red LED light is on or flashing. If it is illuminated, that means that the batteries are low and need to be replaced immediately. To replace the batteries, simply open the dispenser, remove all the paper towels from inside the dispenser, pull out the cartridge of batteries at the bottom of the dispenser and open it up. Inside you'll find four D-cell batteries. Throw away the old batteries, replace with the new batteries, and put the cartridge back in. Before closing the machine, push the blue button on the inside lower right hand corner of the dispenser to verify that the batteries are working and that everything is moving properly. As you go to replace the paper towels, please notice that at the back of the dispenser there is a guide that shows how paper towels are to be loaded properly into the dispenser. We have two scenarios when it comes to replacing paper towels. In the first scenario, we open the paper towel dispenser, but we don't know if that roll is too big to flip or not. So we pull the blue bar, rotate the top roll to the bottom position, verify that it moves freely. If it binds or is obviously too big, then we just simply pull the blue bar and rotate it back to the top position. Remove any slack, close the door, and verify that the dispenser works. In the second scenario, we open the paper towel dispenser and we check to see that it is small enough to be flipped to the bottom position. We do that by pulling the blue bar, rotate that top roll into the bottom position, verify that it moves freely, that it's not binding, and take out any slack of, of the paper. Then we grab a brand new roll of paper towels, slide it into the top, verify it's in there securely, make sure the paper is rolling off the top of the roll, goes over the white bar and then underneath that blue bar at the bottom where it feeds. At the bottom part, crease the paper about one to two inches so that it will catch when it's ready to be uh, dispensed. Close the dispenser, verify that everything works. We appreciate that little extra time you take to verify that the paper towel dispensers in your buildings are working properly, that they're not binding, that they have enough paper towels in them for the next day, and that the batteries are good. If you have any questions on anything we discussed in this video, please let your QA know or feel free to reach out to me as well. Thank you.